You, man god bless you god bless you yeah great to have you on uh, word and worship video show broadcasting out of bel-air maryland before coming on you sent me some information about your broadcast experience i saw those familiar three letters broadcasting institute of maryland man i remember mr jeppy uh, oh my gosh john jeppy you had mr clark yeah uh, mr duff uh wrbs that's where he was from alumni alumni of bim but i know we have some other people in common i believe uh Darisa harvey and yes yes and also lee michaels lee and, michaels yes yes, yes. 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 indeed <laughs> yeah and you did your intern when you graduated from bim you did your intern at um, wbgr yes yes okay. who was the uh general manager back then um oh was this B Berry? It was either B B Berry, but I oh. but I worked with um, Bishop Naomi Durant. Yes, and Lee Michaels was there for a brief time. He was at a different um, part of the day, um, mm -hmm. he, and um, my uncle was there too. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the late Oliver Johnson. Oliver okay, Johnson used to call him OJ. That's my yeah, uncle. That's right. That's right. That's your uncle. uncle. <laughs> all, all in the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those, those were uh, the glory days back then. And, and when I graduated, I did intern with Al Stewart. Remember Al Stewart? Yeah. At, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, at uh, Morgan. Right? Okay, and yes. After my intern there, I went to W-A-Y-E. Oh, my God. Okay. I still okay. remember. And Vashon McKenzie oh, was yes. the uh, general. Yes. Remember um, Malcolm Powell and all those cats? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, and from WBGR, I went to... Yeah. WCAL. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So that's great, man. That's great. And I'm looking at your bio. It's very extensive. Uh, you're a graduate of Baltimore Polytech Institute. Uh, and a whole bunch is a plethora of uh, accomplishments there. Uh, just just share with our listeners and our viewers um, your credentials and because it's a whole ton of them here, but I think you can tell it better than me. Oh, well, I just thank God for um you know, blessing me to be able to go through all that because mm -hmm. I am an avid learner. I, right. I would they say a professional student. Right. And um, you go through so many things and then you don't really realize how many credits you actually have. Mm -hmm. And so you start adding them up and like, oh, OK, I need one more class to get this credit. So I'm going to get that I'm gonna get mm -hmm. this degree <laughs> and I'm going to get that. So that's what was happening so much. So it seemed like that they were spread out. But. God always has a plan. They all came together, and I was also able to de to design and develop my own curriculum and, wow. and got my own degree yes. um, out of that. So mm -hmm. um, I have um, two AAs, an AA in communications mm -hmm. um, and in theology, mm -hmm. and then I have a bachelor's in media arts technology, mm -hmm. uh, master's in um, wow. Wow. social theological arts. Awesome. And um, a doctorate in communications and humanities uh -huh, and, a, uh -huh. and a doctorate in uh, philosophical studies and dimension and uh, social theological counseling with a mm -hmm. minor mm -hmm. in dimensional observationalism. And then I have certificates and, and mm -hmm. awards and different things like that. Wow. Uh, I'm also a, a certified, um, internationally certified mm -hmm. and licensed chaplain. Mm -hmm. um, as well as a human rights consultant mm -hmm. wow. and, and then a lot of other different things. I just thank God uh, wow. for blessing mm -hmm. me to do, to do those things. Awesome. I only have one question for you. Yes. Where did you find the time to do all that? <laughs> well, 
Well, when I, at one point in time, I was working three jobs wow. and, but I would never stop school. Mm -hmm. I would, um, even if I had to take one class mm -hmm. for that semester, I would, um, sure. I started out in Ohio mm -hmm. and then, um, I came back home mm -hmm. mainly because, uh, my mother, as a lot of people may know, is uh, the, uh, the, the Brenda L. Water Span, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she's a five-time cancer survivor. Wow, um, look at here. God is good. Yes. She was given two years to live in 1980, oh, um, and she's now 81. Uh, oh. She was at stage four twice, mm -hmm. you know, um, but at the time of me graduating from high school, I went mm -hmm. away to Ohio to mm -hmm. go to college and right. I was contemplating a major change. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to be up there. I didn't feel good being up there. Mm -hmm. My mom was going in and out of the hospital. Yeah, so, I, so I came back mm -hmm. and um, finished out um, my education. I got one mm -hmm. student loan mm -hmm. and then I didn't like how that went. So I said, mm -hmm. I'm not getting any more student loans. So mm -hmm. everything that God's blessed me obtained to attain, I paid for myself. Oh, look I, here. Look I here. worked and paid off as I was going. Such a blessing. Now, you mentioned Ohio. Uh, what part of Ohio were you at? Because um, when I was younger, we did a lot of concerts in the the uh, Youngstown uh, area and uh, Hamilton, Ohio as well. Okay. Yeah. I was in Columbus. I was in Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Oh, you were all the way up top. Yes, <laughs> and it was cold. It was yeah, cold man. in September. I, Lord, <laughs> uh, that's I why we only cold. visited. We only visited, and then we came back. To yes. <laughs> so, at the beginning of our interview, okay, tell us how people can reach you, your contact information, and where your church is located. Okay, uh, you can reach me at deanthony span at yahoo dot com or uh, dr da span at uh, gmail dot com. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, uh, yeah. Any uh, phone numbers? Um, you can reach me at 443-685-6336. And I have several pages on mm -hmm. uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reach out, message me there. I am also have, uh, I just got on um, IG, I believe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being in communications and everything, then all these new things keep popping up. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, so um, you can reach me there. And um, so I thank God for that. Or you can reach me at the church mm -hmm. uh, email as the H2O uh, church at gmail.com. Okay. Um, and you have online services, correct? Yeah, we have both. We have on both. site and we have a hybrid mm -hmm. um, uh, schedule. Uh, right. the, the Lord has blessed us. Mm -hmm. We started Holistic Life Ministries Incorporated. Um, international. Uh, we started in 2007 in Laurel, Maryland, and then um, we migrated to Northern Virginia. We opened up a church there, and then we found ourselves that um, we opened a second church back in Glen Burnie, which is now back in Laurel. You know, so so it came full circle. So we Ping have, <laughs> yes, we have uh, ministries in uh Northern Virginia, as well as Laurel, Maryland, and God bless us to expand internationally, Wonderful. where we have several ministries. Mm -hmm. um, we cover Bishop Stephen Prasad mm -hmm. and, and the um, Gospel to India Churches, Missions and Ministries. There's about 2,000 of them. And then we have um, three churches in Zambia under um, Apostle uh, Peter Mwamba. We have, mm -hmm. we've registered and we have Holistic Life Ministry Zambia um, in both Lusaka and Kalunda, Z Zesco Kalunda. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Faith Bible Church Holistic Life Ministries in Zalaminga, um, Zambia. And uh, and then we have one church in Pakistan mm -hmm. under um, um, regional overseer, mm -hmm. uh, Master Nasir Masi, and that's Faith Revived Ministries, Holistic Life Ministries. That's amazing. Now, um, do you ever fellowship with each other? You go there sometimes and travel, or do you have them come here we're, in the States? We're working all of that out now. 
on um whereas we communicate all the time uh, mm -hmm. uh, almost every week i'm talking to all of them and mm -hmm. um we i was supposed to go to india mm -hmm. last year uh, but something transpired we weren't able to go so mm -hmm. we're looking to have an international leadership conference um, in november december 2025 Wonderful. where we're, we're going to get all of them to come here mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I will be um, sometime in between, either bef before then or after that, I'll sure. be going to India, Zambia, and we're, we're praying about um, Pakistan um, with the Lord would say, because, you know, we have to sure. really move by the leadership mm -hmm. of the Lord. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and traveling in certain areas internationally is uh, not too safe these days in, in mm -hmm. light of what's going on uh, overseas mm -hmm. and over there in other countries. But um, but God has blessed you in tremendous ways and uh, you preach you teach the word you play keyboard um, you do everything but tap dance uh, do you break dance or do you... <laughs> if i break dance i'll probably break <laughs> break a bone <laughs> yeah so look there's a song that you uh, shared with me a couple months ago the name of the song is called god is the answer tell us about that and how that song came to be this the state of affairs uh that we live in um circumstances situations um uh, people are looking for solutions in many different ways and um there is a search um for um for truth you know people are always looking to find another way or um sometimes they they uh, find they say they are their truth or they're living their truth, mm -hmm. but a lot of times you have to ask the question: Is my truth the truth? You know, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> because uh, God's ways are not our ways, and our ways are not God's ways. We are seeking to um, learn the ways of God, and the Bible says that there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but in thereof mm -hmm. is the road to destruction. And with the the economy the way it is, with the uh, with global warming, with um, the problems in families, with uh, the absolute of everything, which even um, goes to the foundation of holistic life ministries, which is Second Peter one and three, and the first part of four a is that He's given us all that pertains to life. So he, we have resources here. We may not know what they are, but God, he said, if you seek, you will find. If you knock, the door will be open. And if you call me, I'll answer. You know, so mm -hmm. um, the, the thing is that God is the answer. If we seek the more of God, if we seek him out, if we learn to be as he would and, and act as he would, because the Bible also tells us, he said um, in his word, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as mm -hmm. it is in heaven. So mm -hmm. we must just seek out how it is in heaven so that sure. we can bring those <laughs> yeah, those yeah. principles here on the earth. So yeah, God right is the it. answer. Yeah, you're right God. about it. This song is very timely because we're living in an age uh, that I was told about uh, when I first started going to church, a little 10-year-old boy, a little chubby thing running around Baltimore, <laughs> right? And uh, the missionaries and, and the apostles and the bishops back then would tell us it's coming a time uh, where the world will call what is what's right, they'll say that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And those things that are are totally against the word of God, those are the things that the world are are embracing. And then you have uh, influential uh, individuals mm -hmm. like Oprah and uh, Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. They believe that there there's more than just one way to get to God. <laughs> how they came up with that. I can almost tell you how they came up with that. And, and that Jesus is is not the only person that can get to God. So we all believe in our own ways, and at the end, we'll all meet and come together. No, sir, that's not right. But this song, God is the answer, uh, establishes God's principles, God's way, letting you know that he is the ultimate <laughs> of all gods. You know, a lot of imitators, uh -huh. right? But God is the only creator. Amen. Amen. So Amen. so stick around, y'all. Listen to this wonderful song. Be blessed by it. You're listening to WWAW Word and Worship Radio. I'm Elder Luther Baker. I got Dr. D. Anthony in the house.
Yes. Check this out. There is an answer, I hope is salvation Don't give up, you hold on, rock is rough You stay strong, have faith in God To lay their hands, these things we must erase. Tensions in the land, there's confusion and no peace. Addiction everywhere, these things we must defeat. Can't you see what kind of world we're living in? Times are hard, we're losing ground, but don't give in to every problem in every situation. An answer, I hope it's salvation. Don't give up, you hold on. Road is rough, you stay strong. Have faith in God. He 
you work it out every time. Work it up, yes you will. Work it up, give it all over. Work it up, if that's what you need in your life. Work it up, whatever the time. Work it up, give it to me. Work it up, I'm a it. Work it up, give it to me. Work it up, and I'll share it. Work it up, if you need a love, if you need peace in your life, give it to the Lord. So now tell us more about the song God is the answer. Awesome song. Awesome song. So sure so many people are blessed by it. So um have have any of the DJs or announcers pick the song up? Are they playing it or are they pushing it for you? Then tracked it like I could or should. Um I do have um I know of one um announcer that has played it on her program. Mm -hmm. And um, I know it's in the media outlets and from word of mouth and mm -hmm. uh, people has have heard it uh, as well as it's playing on YouTube, you know, and I check that so often mm -hmm. and I see the, you know, the listenership. Mm -hmm. um, so it's getting its play. Uh, and it's, it's, it's funny because um, with other people, my main concern is that it's out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. that um, whoever's supposed to hear it will hear it, you know, right. that's true. <laughs> you know, so um, mm -hmm. uh, people say, well, don't you want to get on the uh, billboard or <laughs> win a award and everything? I say, if God wills it so, then that's fine. Um, yeah. I, I mainly did it for ministry purposes, mm -hmm. you know, and God has always blessed me to be able to write. Mm -hmm. And um, he told me it's time just to get the music out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, that's why I'm just releasing the music. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, and, and when we were younger, I know when I was younger, man, my uh, we all dreamed of having that big number one major hit song and get to travel all over the country, all over the world. And everybody's all the churches are singing your stuff. And uh, I believe now that we know how the industry is. Mm -hmm. We know now, uh, I believe, and I keep saying this about myself, God is, is protecting us mm -hmm. from that, that level of the industry. God can bless our music and our folks are going to be blessed through the internet uh, venues, but that level of God, even in the gospel industry is, mm -hmm. um, it is like really demonic, man. I mean, a lot of, a lot of folks you see starting off, they're great. And then when they roll into the money, become millionaires, then they change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, um, I I find that we have to constantly remind ourselves the, the purpose and what is the real motive behind what we do while we do. Mm -hmm. I am, I've been blessed and fortunate. I know what it is to have. And then I know what it is to have not. You know, mm -hmm. and I know what it is to grow to attain your own. I've yes, had sir. several setbacks in my life, mm -hmm. you know, but um, God has still sustained me, mm -hmm. you know, um, so I, I'm grateful. And then, um, you know, the I, I like to think that God has blessed me with seasoning, you know, yes. so, <laughs> so in my seasoning, you know, <laughs> uh, I know what, what matters most. I like nice things. I yeah. do. You yeah. know, um, but I'm not moved by the nice things. You right. know, there you I'm go. more moved by the intangibles. There you and, go. And um, but I'm not gonna turn away, you know, <laughs> unless God tells me, you know, you're not supposed to have that. But um I just have a different perspective than most. Um yeah. and when it comes to uh because too much is given, much is required. Yeah, um, that's true. And that a lot of times what I get goes to other things and push. Mm -hmm. And I believe that whom God mm -hmm. calls, he qualifies, he justifies, he sets, establishes, exactly. and he makes provision for. So exactly. whatever provision that I get, I am blessed to be a blessing, you of know, course. and, um, you know, I would I would like to see my money work for me and not me always having to work for it. But you yeah, know. there you go. There you go. And, and it's going to happen. I believe God has a time frame for for. All of us, you know, uh -huh. all of us, meaning myself, uh, yourself, other mm -hmm. musicians and songwriters. God has a specific time. And you mentioned the word seasoning. God had to mature us mm -hmm. in the word 
first. Yes. You know, because when I was young, 26, 30 years old, man, I just knew I was yeah. the stuff. I knew my music was the best music that was out there. <laughs> How come my, my music is not happening? It's not hitting like everybody else's. But God has a way of yes. preserving us. You know, he really does. Because uh, you've had a taste of the uh, music industry at that level. I've had a taste of it. And uh, it's not as uh, you know, peaches and cream and rosy and toasty as it appears mm -hmm. to be. So you really have to be rooted and grounded in the word so that that kind of those kinds of popularities and accolades don't change us. You know? So God is preserving us. It's going to happen, but it's going to happen in God's time. I know. And, and my certain um, point is that I see a lot of music that's making it. Yes, you can have a nice hook or a nice beat mm -hmm. and everything, right. that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. Right. But I'm a lyric person. Oh, I man. need to hear the lyrics. I need mm -hmm. to know what's, mm -hmm. what is the message, uh, yes, sir. what is the sentence of the song, mm -hmm. you yes, know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Where are you going with it, you know? So. It, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense because uh, I often tell folks, I said, uh, the style is a style. And mm -hmm. that's not going to change if it's country music. If it's uh, rap, I'm really not crazy about rap. But if it's just straight gospel, mm -hmm. let the lyric content reflect that of Christ. Mm -hmm. Period. You know, uh, I can remember a concert I did years ago. I was a little kid, and and I had a what if seg segment of the show, right? And uh, and I said, uh, what if uh, Frank Sinatra got saved? Mm -hmm. and, and he recorded a gospel song. <laughs> what would it sound like? So <laughs> I sang a song, <laughs> the words that reflect Christ uh -huh. in his style. Uh -huh. And I said, um, what if, and everybody said, hmm, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> what if B.B. King got saved and he did a, a gospel song? What would it be like? Right? Uh -huh. Bam, 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 Jesus on the main line. <laughs> you know. well, oh, my goodness. It's funny you should be bringing this up because when I was working uh, as an on air personality, right, right. I had to MC the Pat Kelly Crusade. I remember at Pat Kelly. Oh, my God. At, yeah. at Baseball player. Yeah. yeah, at the convention <laughs> center. And right. it was my first experience where um, I, I was asked to go because mm -hmm. uh, Lee was not able to go that year. Right. So he had put my name in and said, well, mm -hmm. I need you to go. Can you go? I said, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll go. So mm -hmm. I go there. I had my uh, tie, my blazer on, right? Mm -hmm. And I went there, and I heard, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I was like, what? So I looked out, <laughs> and then I, I saw it was heavy metal gospel, punk rock gospel, all of that. <laughs> so I took my tie off. I broke <laughs> my shirt. I hey. went out and I said, <laughs> and everybody just started screaming and howling yeah. and everything. So uh -huh. I got a chance to experience many uh, different yeah. genres of gospel because right. the music itself, the music comes from God. Good exactly. news is the message. You know, gospel you is go. the message of good news. Mm -hmm. So it's the motive and the spirit behind of what your, your plan that makes yes, a sir. difference. Yes, sir. And a lot of times we say, well, we're bringing the world in the church. And well, the music started out in the heavens, you know, That's true. so the music belonged to God. We mm -hmm. tend to defile the purity of mm -hmm. what God has already allowed to take place. That's true. Um, and, and we put our own spin on it and then mm -hmm. we mess it up. Because mm -hmm. if you look at it, I said Lucifer was Satan's glorified name when he was, was in heaven. That's and right. he was the minister of music of heaven. So mm -hmm. he knew all of that. Mm -hmm. At the fall, then we started to call him Satan. So mm -hmm. Satan is what we recognize him in his fallen state. But exactly. Lucifer was his glorified name. There you you go. know, so um we we are really music belongs to us, mm -hmm. you know, but it's your motive and your motivation behind That's it. right. That's uh, right. And what you do in defiling the message. That that uh, makes a difference because mm -hmm. I love I love jazz, you know yep. I love oh, yeah. soft soft classical. Some mm -hmm. sometimes I can take the heavy classical, you know. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I love the the format of neo soul, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know. I love many different yep. formats, 
but it's always in my heart and mind, what is the message? What is mm -hmm. my intent? What is mm -hmm. my purpose um, that I'm trying to, to bring out? So yes, you will sir. find that in all um, um, uh, pieces of music that I present, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. may not all sound the same, you know, right. because I like different formats. That's true. And that's one of the things I loved about uh, the late and uh, great Andre Crouch. You mm -hmm. could take an Andre Crouch album and they'll have 15 songs on there. Mm -hmm. Each one of those songs would be different. Yes. <laughs> and that, that was the gift that he had. And that's what I loved about, uh, uh, about him. It's, it's uh, a different style, but the lyric content has to reflect the Savior that we're yes. singing about. You're listening to WWAW, digital radio station in Bel Air, Maryland. If you'd like to be a guest on our show or submit to music, visit our website at wordandworshipradio.info. If you wish to donate, our cash app is WWAW Radio. You're the owner and CEO of the fully internationally accredited Holistic Life School of Ministry and Chaplaincy. Explain that to us. Tell us more about that. Okay. Uh, well, uh the Lord blessed us to uh, go through Great School of Ministry and Chaplaincy uh, mm -hmm. with the founder and CEO, uh, Dr. Daphne Tatlock Sterling out of San Diego, mm -hmm. California, and okay. uh, this internationally accredited, licensed, yes, sir. Uh, certified, and ordained mm -hmm. as a chaplain. And mm -hmm. uh, she's also the founder of the San Diego Black Chaplains Association. Wonderful. Uh, my mother and I actually went together. We went to school. Mm. It was very interesting. We were in the wow. same class. Wow. <laughs> That's Lord amazing. Chaplaincy. And um, God so fit for us to mm. uh, become an affiliate school uh, mm -hmm. of Great School of Ministry. So um, Holistic Life School of Ministry and Chaplaincy is under that, mm -hmm. um, under that umbrella, um, but, you know, sponsored by our ministry, Holistic Life. And yes, um, our accreditation comes through to them mm -hmm. um, internationally throughout the world at all mm -hmm. places. And mm -hmm. um, I thank God for the opportunity. Um, we went through our instructor certification and, yes, um, and we are able to offer this program. Now, Holistic Life School of Ministry, uh, the chaplaincy program will not be the only um, mm -hmm. course that we offer, but we're starting mm -hmm. off with that. Um, mm -hmm. And then there are other um, courses and classes where you mm -hmm. get uh, cert um, certified. Um, but we're starting with that, and Great. we're we're just excited. Our first class will start mm -hmm. September the twenty sixth. Okay. Um, what is what are the enrollment arrangements? Uh, can you tell our listeners about that? Well, um, what you would do is um, you can reach out to WLSMC. 24 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Let us know of your interest. Uh, we're right now we're going through interviews, mm -hmm. uh, registration application, and mm -hmm. then um, we will discuss the you know the the payment program and um, mm -hmm. your deposit. You know, so mm -hmm. for um, good. Yeah, because there's it's a lot. You you will have um, it's a 12 to 14 week program, and you will have 40 credits that can be transferred you know, mm -hmm. to colleges and everything. So by the oh, time you're in the program, you'll have 40 credits. And then the the bereave, bereavement and grief counseling is mm -hmm. also included with that. So then once you take that, you'll have 41 credits. And then mm -hmm. for an additional cost with one more class or one more mm -hmm. week of class instruction, mm -hmm. you'll be able to be certified in hospice and palliative care. So there's a wow. possibility within 12 to 14 weeks, you can have 42 mm -hmm. credits, you know, mm -hmm. and then we go through the, the certification, the licensing, mm -hmm. the graduation, the ordination, you know, and within that, you also uh, go through ethics and um, neuro linguistics and uh, wow. you, you deal with, um, uh, let's see, you, you have the ethics and, oh, sexual harassment. And it's know, just, very, yeah, it's just, a very involved program. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. Uh, just listening to you, I, um, 
uh, I love I love studies, and I think all God's people should be inspired to educate yourselves, build yourself up on your most holy faith. And how you do that? You do that through the study of God's word. And um, and when most people think uh, in terms of study uh, for the studying for the ministry, they think of uh, uh, theology. Uh, homiletics, hermeneutics, you know, all of those those general things, but a lot of people don't think in terms of taking studies and the chaplaincy, and that is a very involved, you know, yes. very involved uh, course of study. And uh, so this is this is fantastic, and, and I think and I pray that everyone, somebody will be be encouraged to uh, consider taking those courses because it is deep. I've taken a, a beginner's course, an introductory course uh, in the chaplaincy, and even that in itself was involved. You know, yeah, so yeah it's, a, it's right. a, a lot of people don't um, realize sometimes when you say chaplain. The, the first thing people think of, oh, well, you you pray after everything, but it's more mm -hmm. involved. You yeah. get into patient advocacy. Mm -hmm. uh, you get into crisis counseling. You get into mm -hmm. being able to uh, advocate in wills and trusts mm -hmm. and different wow. things like that. People don't understand wow. that uh, because chaplaincy is so universal, mm -hmm. um, what happens is that um, we don't take the place of preachers and pastors, but we're there to supplement mm -hmm. and reinforce pastors awesome. and preachers because there are some places mm -hmm. that they will not be able to go that a chaplain can go. And wow, in times of crisis, they'll mm -hmm. ask for a doctor first, then a chaplain. If a chaplain is mm -hmm. not available, then they'll ask for clergy. Wow. So the, the chaplaincy is like right up there at the top of the list for finding someone to offer comfort and during their hour of either sickness or, or bereavement, but uh, very good, excellent. I'm uh, I'm uh, very proud of you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Uh, and it's nice to know that uh, the Ministry of, of Academia is strong and very much alive in Baltimore. Yes, <laughs> uh, I do have one question about the uh, the Grace School of Ministry of the Chaplaincy. Are they located here in Baltimore? Because you said you're under the umbrella of that particular no it's uh, it's a virtual it's a virtual program the home okay. um, base is san diego california mm -hmm. and yeah. um i was able to have one here on the east coast because i'm oh, actually right. in virginia i'm actually mm -hmm. in virginia and mm -hmm. um and then we're virtual we're trying to cover those areas and um it's uh one night a week two hours mm -hmm. for two hours for 12 to 14 weeks because we need okay. to get that that time and it's all mm -hmm. virtual Okay, now, now correct me. I know you're from Baltimore. Uh, where do you currently reside? Northern Virginia. I'm in Northern Virginia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I always think you're here in Baltimore. Always <laughs> there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I gave a um, a live recording session. Uh, well, a couple months ago, and you were there uh, present for that, man. It was such a blessing to see you. We were talking about some old times when, when we both had hair. And um, <laughs> and we're still alive and well and still serving the Lord. And that's a blessing, man. Yes, yes. Now, you have, um, at the age of three, you started singing. Tell, tell us about that. Well, I come from a musical family um, mm -hmm. um, that's heavily involved in, in ministry as a whole. Yes, sir. And um, my my uncle is the, um, the uh, bishop. Carol Waldron Jones Sr. Mm -hmm. And they used to have the, the family Jones and we used mm -hmm. to sing with them. But my grandfather, mm -hmm. the late Bishop Charles E. Water Sr. and mm -hmm. um, Evangelist Edna Nelson Waters. Um, mm -hmm. What did I say? Charles E. Waters, yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> they're my, my mom's parents. Mm -hmm. And we, we've done recording and different things like that. But oh, we were always involved in uh, mm -hmm. the creative arts in ministry as well as mm -hmm. evangelism and all that. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, my mom, she used to, I was always into music. I love music. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. when, and she would put me on tables and chairs to direct <laughs> choirs. <laughs> they couldn't see me. I was I so small and so short, <laughs> nobody could see me. So she would stand me <sighs> and she would stand right there and hold my legs. You know, while I'm directing, because I love to direct. 
And it's so amazing. I would, I would always um, teach choirs. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, I was the minister of music for the Archdiocese mm -hmm. of Baltimore for two Catholic churches, bringing gospel music yeah. in Catholic church. Wow. And um, teaching them and doing vocal mm -hmm. training different things like That's that. Amazing. So it's always followed me. And of course, with a Pojic background, Church of God mm -hmm. in Christ, you know, oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. we've done a lot musically. Wow, you have a strong background. You you were blessed because you have a strong uh, background in teaching and, and upbringing in the church. And, and it's a reflection of uh, where you are now because, uh, man, you're a doctor, you're, you're a bishop, you're, you're an apostle, you're... <laughs> <laughs> That's a wonderful thing, and and I and I'm very proud of you, brother. That's a blessing. Bless to God be the glory. Now tell us tell us more about your church. Well, the name of the church is Holistic Life Ministries, mm -hmm. and um, we seek to serve the total man, you know, mm -hmm. so that they might be uh, holistically healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, and what what happens? We spell it with a W mm -hmm. uh, because when you use the H. Uh, it's mm -hmm. people automatically go to the homeopathic um, remedies and mm -hmm. they also go to everything mm -hmm. spiritual. Well, yes, mm -hmm. it, there is a spiritual connotation with everything, but it was important to yes, us sir. to stress the W because when mm -hmm. you add the W, the H is automatically included. And right. because we are a trichotomy of mind, body, and spirit, God, mm -hmm. God wants us to be balanced and whole in every aspect of mm -hmm. our lives. So we yes. seek to serve the total man, the totality mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. have a balance. We want to be able to do more than just preach and sing. Uh, we we don't want to be so spiritually minded until mm -hmm. we know earthly good, and then we don't want to yeah. be so carnal till we can't get a prayer through. Yeah, yeah and songs have to, to inspire um, the listener, and, and it has to point in the direction uh, of Christ in some way, shape, or form, uh, and it's not just to me. With me, it's not necessarily the uh, the style because you can have an awesome gospel song in the style of uh, country, mm -hmm. exactly country music. Uh, you can have an an awesome uh, gospel song in the style of um, R and B or or rap music. Right. Mm -hmm. Some rap gospel is cool. Some rap gospel, in my opinion, isn't cool because of the lack of uh, lyric content that exemplifies Christ. And I believe that everything we do to the best of our ability, uh, whether it's singing, whether it's uh, uh, dancing for the Lord or expressive dancing for the Lord, it really should glorify Christ. Yeah. In my so, understanding, yes, I believe there are three things. Mm -hmm. uh, First, to glorify God, then to edify the believer, and mm -hmm. then to evangelize the lost. My former pastor, yep. the late Dr. Kniez B. Washington, said that. So mm -hmm. there are times it depends on what your motivation of that song. If mm -hmm. it's to if it's to lift up the believer, mm -hmm. um, then I can understand, you know, inspirational songs or mm -hmm. or uh, what they say, um, feel good music. You mm -hmm. know, so I don't have a problem with that when you're mm -hmm. you're your purpose is pure mm -hmm. because someone could be sharing um, mm -hmm. their how to be positive in life, you exactly. know, and um, then some heart heartaches that they've come through. So mm -hmm. my thing is, it doesn't say it doesn't always have to say God, but there should right. be a positive message or mm -hmm. uh, uh, something of hope or inspiration or recognizing mm -hmm. what was with a resolve of where you are now and where you're going. And mm -hmm. then uh, it, you know, when you get into the gospel of the good news, then you would mm -hmm. lead them to Christ. But it depends right. on um, because if you got a couple, uh, you know, they don't want to be um, in their long time listening to music that says Jesus saves. You want something. <laughs> you want music <laughs> that, will, <laughs> that will inspire each other and bless right. each other. With how you feel right. about that person. So I understand mm -hmm. love songs. So the, to me, the the, mm -hmm. the songs have to be appropriate to uh, the moment mm -hmm. of the inspiration and who, yeah, and who you're targeting, sense. you know? Yes, so, sir. But yes, if you're going yeah. to claim it as gospel, 
mm-hmm. then yeah, you you mm-hmm. you have you should have a direction. <laughs> most definitely, and, yeah, most definitely. That's that's good. That's 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 uh, an excellent observation. I think that's a great way to to put it and to explain it. Um, now, Doctor Span, uh, you have this um, school of ministry. Uh, I think that is vitally important these days as believers because um, so many people don't know the word of God. So many people who are not saved are uh, unfortunately uh, missing out on hearing the word of God because too many people of God's believe God's believers don't know the word. So therefore, they're a little shy uh, of witnessing or sharing their faith with others because of the lack of knowledge in the word. Uh, so what do you think can be done to to rectify that, to, to correct that? If we spend less time trying to memorize and quote verbatim and understand mm-hmm. the principle and the story that came with it, you'll remember sure. the passages better. Hmm. I you like know? that. Because there are yeah, people like back that. in recite people can recite the ba- the Bible backwards and forth and still not mm-hmm. living like nothing because yeah, they still don't understand living it. right they they become a living computer and they mm-hmm. just spit out what was put in but there mm-hmm. is no um, real application of it yeah. so when you when you um, put he said the, the word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee so mm-hmm. you you may have the the, the letter of the law and then the spirit of the law. You may have, you may mm-hmm. know the word verbatim, but then there's the spirit mm-hmm. of the word. How's the spirit mm-hmm. of the word living inside you that you can mm-hmm. uh, demonstrate it mm-hmm. uh, um, in, in daily life? What is the yes, practical sir. application mm-hmm. of the word mm-hmm. that you study? And people don't know how to apply it to their life. So once you can, um, it's, it's, it's what I, I tell people, that we serve an unchanging God in an ever-changing mm. society. So how True. do you apply the principles and mm-hmm. the standards of the word to the daily life in which you live? Mm-hmm. And my thing is, um, and you can relate to this too, you know, mm-hmm. we've had uh, the, uh, what was the eight track, the cassette, the mm-hmm. 45, the LP, then you had the, the DVD, uh, the VHS, the DVD, the mm-hmm. MP3, the MP4, you have all these different, but the, the DAT machines. Is, right. <laughs> so no matter the, we get the method mixed up with the mess um, from the message. Mm-hmm. You know, there are different methodologies, but the mm-hmm. message still should ring true in whatever mm-hmm. method that you use. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that is so true, uh, Dr. Span. And uh, while you were talking, the scripture that came to my mind was the book of James, where it says, instructs us to not just be hearers of the word. And you hear the word all day, but to be doers of the word. That is vitally important because because the devil probably knows more Bible than all of us. Right. But the Bible says the devil uh, uh, believes. Right. But he's not saved. Even the devil believes that there's a God. Well, his roots began <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> Come on, say it with music. <laughs> That's right, with music. That is so that true. Lucifer is his glorified name. He was created. Um, we right. now call him Satan or the devil or the mm-hmm. evil one because of mm-hmm. his fall, his his yep. disgrace. He he has been disgraced so badly that he doesn't mm. warrant being called by his glorified name. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, he, he was the choir director of all choir directors. Uh huh. Had right. musical had musical pipes built all in him. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know? But um, but pride took over his brain, the little brain, whatever little pea brain he had, <laughs> and he messed up and got kicked out of heaven. That's right. Because of because of it. So we can know the word. All day long, I, I gave a teaching um, a couple months ago about um, discipline, self-discipline, mm-hmm. uh, self-control, uh, because you have a lot of people who know the word, a lot of mm-hmm. pastors. and We pray for one another. Nobody's perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I'm, not, I'm the head of the line, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, you can have the word of God and know the word of God, teach the word of God. But if you don't have self 
self-discipline and self-control. You find yourself doing things, saying things, going places that we should not go. So, so along with the word, we need to, to be doers of the word. We need to, to develop self-discipline. Yes. You know, anything that sets itself uh, against the knowledge of God, God told, tells us to pull those things down, pull those strongholds down. So it's his part and it's our part too. Amen. Amen to that. We can't misappropriate yeah. it. We can't misrepresent it. You That's know? right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You just can't. People, yeah. Because it goes back again to what's your motive. That's true. And, what, and what's your agenda. There you go. There you go. Because you can have the word and um, and use it in a destructive manner. Yes. Uh, you can take bits and pieces of the word portions of scripture and build a, a demonic um, methodology on top of that. And you already mentioned it, sir. You, uh, you, you just can't take uh, a text, uh, a, a verse of scripture without a text or knowing exactly what that scripture is all about. It's just a pretext. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a half truth. And too many people have, have done that and they're doing it now. Uh, that's why I hats off to you, sir, uh, been in the direction that you've gone and that God is using you to uh, start a school, to teach people, to train people, to train believers, to train those who feel that they're called into the ministry. We must uh, study, as the Bible says, and I'm preaching to the choir, to show ourselves approved, not unto man, but unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. So what you're doing is of is a is of great value to the body of Christ. God bless you, man. I, I thank God for you. Amen. Yeah. Bless. So what what's new? What's what's new down the pipe for uh for my good brother, Dr. Span? Well, um, you know, we're we're dropping music here and there, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also looking to complete uh, mm. the book, you know. Mm. Oh, what's uh, the name of the book? Well, I want to, I don't want to release that just yet. So, <laughs> but we're really, but, yes, but yeah. we're working, we're working on some things. That's good. And, That's good. Um, we, we thank God for, um, mm -hmm. just expanding us mm -hmm. in ministry internationally, you know. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Have, uh, Beautiful. We're, and we're looking to travel to our mm -hmm. international churches um, in mm -hmm. Zambia, India, and, um, mm -hmm. and Pakistan, and other places that God is bringing to us. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I work closely with uh, different organizations. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, we're in a mm -hmm. workers' conference with uh, UAIC, Uni United Assemblies in Christ, and that's going to oh, be in great. Delaware. So I'll be in Delaware uh, mm -hmm. this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday. And um, Good. But you know, I'll, I'll play this full on a lot of things, but I, mm -hmm. I enjoy what I do because yeah. I also I also work a full time job. So God bless with skill and talent and yeah. got to put yeah. uh, food on the table. You know, I'm also do a, a single parent. The way of church as mm -hmm. we used to know it is no more, you know, yeah. and there, you know, there's a lot of apathy when it comes to. Uh, what people will say, organized religion mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or different things like that. So people mm -hmm. don't support as much as they used to. You know, yeah. some some still get the uh, the support. So it's not mm -hmm. all churches. But mm -hmm. I'm saying you have to always align yourself to have multiple streams of income mm -hmm. um, coming true. in so that you can balance out. And then a lot of mm -hmm. what we get in working and doing other things on the side, you know, because I do other things on the side as well when I have the time, um, mm -hmm. goes to help support and expand uh, the ministry, you mm -hmm. know, so because there are things that we want to do, whereas you cannot overtax the membership um, and, yeah. uh, you know, people are only going to give but so much. They don't have problems mm -hmm. giving to cancer research and all of these other nonprofit organizations, but as soon as you say give to the church, you know, <laughs> it's I don't know why. I, I don't know why people think that to run a ministry for the Lord uh, is run by air. <laughs> 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 you know, air, 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 and prayer. Prayer definitely is is a part of it, but it's like any other 
uh, entity or establishment, it takes money to do that. It takes money yeah. to do those things. So um, so we pray that people will be more generous in these times that we're living in because we really need to get that gospel out because we're living in some crazy times right now, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, things are, things are wild. I mean, it's uh, who would have known 30 years ago when I uh, first got saved and I was 14 years old, man, and Old Happy Day first came out and we were so <laughs> excited. All the churches used to, to help each other and support each other. But now this is like, uh, man, it's it's bad. Like I it's miss bad. the days of the choirs marching in, you oh, know, man. and to the choir yeah. stand, and then they yeah. lined up in their robes and, yeah. and and sing. Oh Lord, yeah, I, I yeah. come out Pente a Pentecostal church. Pentecostal, and yeah. We, uh, I'm Bible way clapping foot. Bible way. Turn, now, turn, you know, turn for the turn for the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. All that stuff, but churches were so uh, they they were anointed back then, man. They were yes. so anointed. Yes. Yeah. Now, now we even got prosperous and churches, church members busting out of the scene. They can't don't even have room to sit. They sit on top of each other, right? Mm -hmm. But but they have no no holy power, no spirit, no no anointing. Something's missing. Not in all churches, but too many of them yeah it's a question that i asked when we when we do ministry um we in our ministry i said don't try to be like everybody else do what god lets you to do let's do that uh because for there to be so many churches sometimes you can go on a street and there are like five and six churches within a three block radius mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. all of these churches out there and there's still mm -hmm. a lot of people not in them what is it that the masses need that the churches are not available, uh, uh, mm -hmm. able to offer, you know, mm -hmm. that they're not yeah. able to meet the need? So mm -hmm. we have to find, and every church is different. You have to know mm -hmm. your lane. You have to know your part. Mm -hmm. You have to know what member of the body you are within mm -hmm. the work of the Lord. Because um, right. we all represent the body of Christ. We just have to find True. out, are we a toe? Are we a finger? You know, True. are we a nose? You know, once True. we find our niche and strengthen mm -hmm. that, then mm -hmm. we can be a part of perfecting the body. So I don't fall or have a, a problem with um, mm -hmm. all of the churches and what they do. It's just that I have to do what God is calling me to do so I can meet the mm -hmm. need that those other churches are not meeting. That's true. That's true. And and our conversation is the same as yours, um, probably hundreds of other uh, believers and you drive down the street you see five six seven churches on the corner but then you look at the people that are around those churches uh, it's like they're lost uh, so there's something that we have to do as god's people um, number one we need to get out and really start talking to people we need to get out and and uh, be where the people are and go where the people are uh, but in a in a way that you, that we just demonstrate a lot of wisdom because sometimes you just can't go and do what we used to do when we were kids and teenagers coming up because times are a little different now. So you have to use a little bit more wisdom to uh, share the word of God on the outside uh, now nowadays than you did when uh, what back in the seventies and in the eighties. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So we have to come up with ways to share that gospel, man, to get folks hungry for the word. Once again, they're not hungry anymore, man. We got to start <laughs> feeding them. <laughs> get them. Get them excited. You know, we got to get excited about it before we can get somebody else excited about sharing the gospel. Amen. Amen. So, uh, doctor, give us some more information about how people can contact you. Uh, you can reach me at... Uh... Uh, DASPAN417 at gmail.com mm -hmm. or uh, call me at 443-685-6336. That's 443-685-6336. Notice I still kept my Maryland number no matter how many years I was I in. I know, I'm telling you. I'm in Virginia. <laughs> and then uh, I have several Facebook pages, so you can mm -hmm. reach me there and also uh, Instagram. So Good. Perfect. Dr. D. Anthony Spann, Dr. D. Anthony Spann, the man.
<laughs> yes. You're blessed, man. Um, you you preach the word, you teach the word, you you have a beautiful church ministry and, and all kinds of teaching uh, facilities that uh, people can strengthen their, their lives and strengthen their walk in Christ through the learning of God's word. It's, it's just your blessing to the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Have a great night. All right. Bye-bye. But whatever the back is that's holding you back, just trust in God. He's going to work it out. It's going to be all right. Yeah.